Tal and greetings everyone. Hi. Um, apologies for the um, delay between videos. I've not been very well recently. Nothing to do with Covid. Completely different. Unrelated. <coughs> she says, having to cough. Promise I don't have it. Anyway, um, lesson number two in the Korean series. Now, the last video, I couldn't remember the name for the Northern Slaves. That would be a thrall, thrall, however you pronounce it, T-H-R-A-L-L, -L, thrall. Um, so yeah, found that out, so apologies for not knowing that again beforehand. This time I want to talk about silks, um, red silk and white silk specifically, and needling positions. I won't be showing them at the moment because I need someone to record, to hold the phone. Um, otherwise it's going to look very dodgy. So as soon as I've got someone to help me film, then I will show you the positions, but we can talk through them, give you a rundown of the basics. Now, obviously, please remember if you are older or if you have medical conditions or you find anything too hurtful or anything, just discuss it with your dominant with your owner with your master whatever you call them um and a good dom will work around it and you can find a way of doing it that is comfortable for you but back to the first um topic silks now in in, in southern gore not northern gore they wear furs and camisks um, in the south, they wear silks because of warmer climate. So you have two, two basic silks. You have the white silk and the red silk. These have nothing to do with training. There are people up there that think white silk means in training and red silk means out of training. No. The, the meaning of the silk is very, 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 very nothing to do with that. Very simple. A white silk means that the slave is a virgin and the red silk means she's not basically and you can either you know if gore was real and you were transported to gore and you'd already had sex then you would automatically be a red silk even though you hadn't yet started training so hopefully that makes sense um the other silks i should mention um there is purple silk slave um, these are slaves of priest kings. Don't let anyone tell you that they are slaves of the uber. As far as I know, the uber slaves do not get specific colour silks. Please, again, correct me if I'm wrong. But purple is for slaves of the priest kings, which are the gods of southern Gaul. Um, then you've got yellow silk slaves, yellow silks generally are for um, tavern slaves, or that's what I've heard. Anyway, again, correct me if I'm wrong, um, they might be allowed to wear any colour, but as far as I know, yellow means they work in the taverns. Anything else, any other colour, is just because the master thinks it looks pretty on the girl. It doesn't represent anything, it doesn't mean anything. Um, silks are just silks. The only ones that matter are white silk, red silk and purple silk and you will never see a purple silk because they work up in the mountains with the priest kings so unless there is a specifically purple silk that the master has brought then you might see purple but um, yeah so you can have blue, green, turquoise, whatever whatever colour the master chooses so that's what I wanted to clarify and get rid of completely is that the silks do not classify how well trained you are. Um, now generally tower slaves, which are generally female and generally work with free women, are usually white silk because the women, the free women, do not want horny slaves on their hands. Not saying that they don't have horny, that they don't have red silk slaves, but I think generally more often than not, 
they are white silks. Um, because free women don't want, yeah, anyway, free women are frigid in, in the books. Um, and any, any dumb mistress, miss, ma'am, listening in the green books, a free woman is frigid and, um, they, they look down their noses at slaves. They hate slaves because they, they think they're lowly and they'll, you know, yeah. I don't understand mistresses. I'm a slave. I'm a, I'm not a mistress. So, any mistresses out there wanting co- to comment, please, please do, um, and reveal to us what you think to think of Kajira and Kajiri. Um, now kneeling positions. The two main ones that you need to know are Nadu and Tawa. Nadu you use in front of free men. Tower you use in front of free women. Do not go into Nadu in front of a free woman. Trust me, you do not want that beating. Unless you have very specific permission, in which case, carry on, that's your dynamic. But generally in the gore books, you go in, into Nadu in front of a free woman. <laughs> yeah, no thank you, not me. Um, that would literally be a punishment for me. I, I hate the idea of it completely. Anyway, um, Nadu, you have the physical command, Nadu, and you also have this command, so a master can do this. So it's it's a non-verbal signal to do Nadu to the girl. Um, and basically, is the girl kneels and her thighs are open to about shoulder width level, kneeling back on the heels with your palms on the thighs i cannot clarify this enough you put your palms face down on your thighs the only time you put your palms facing up is when the girl wants to show her master or the man she's serving that she's horny and she wants sex unless that is something you know, agreed upon by you and your master personally that you always put your palms up, then fine. Again, you're dynamic. But the rules generally for Nadu are you put your palms down. Be, um, because if you put the palms up, it's very vulnerable. It's showing your vulnerability. You want, you need to, to be third, basically. Um, and Tower is with the thighs pressed together. Like, there's no sunlight getting through those that gap. They have to be very tight together. Because, again, the free woman does not want to be looking at your hoo-ha. Um, so those are the two necessary basic ones that will, you know, save you from getting a lot of beatings. Um, and then you have your basic binding position. So you've got bara, or bara, um which is laying down on your stomach with your left cheek on the floor with your wrists crossed behind your back and your ankles crossed ready to be bound um then you've got bracelets which can be done kneeling standing whichever way whichever way um and that is literally if you're doing it kneeling you kneel Generally, with a master, with your thighs open, but if you're in front of the mistress, then thighs closed. And your hands crossed behind your back with about an inch gap between your wrists and your skin. And this enables bracelets, cuffs, to go around your wrists. Uh, Those are the two basic binding ones. Um... You have a bit of confusion with some of them, what I call um, commands rather than positions. So you've got um, blindfolded or gagged or bound by master's wheel. Now these are more, yes you go into a position sometimes with them, but these are more commands for me because you can't blindfold yourself. So if, you know, a a master or mistress says to you, 
blindfolded by my will that's literally all you do you close your eyes and you are blindfolded you don't necessarily have to have anything over your eyes they may want to put something over your eyes but you just close your eyes same with gags is you just stop talking until you're given permission to talk again and again with bound you see where i'm going with this um generally i think it's in bara bara um you can you know be bound in any kind of position you know you could be told to get into the bracelet position and then the master will, or mistress will say to you you are now bound by my will so you are then stuck in bracelets without actually having had bracelets put on you or you're just stuck in that position so for me that's a command not a position um the same with blanket no blanket is mm, blanket's a bit of a somewhere between the two it's a it's a command and it's a position because you get down generally on the floor um but you it can be done standing up as well i think it's literally if a blanket is thrown over you whatever you're doing you have to shut the fuck up and stay the fuck still um so yeah there's that one and i'm running out of time so we are that's that's the basics um i will go into further positions um hopefully once i have someone to hold the camera i can go through them and show you them properly but please remember health and safety consent at all times so if you're uncomfortable if you need to change the position to suit you please discuss it beforehand because even though the Gorean world as it was written is harsh we are on earth and we have a duty of care to take duty to take care of each other the doms for the subs and the subs for the doms it works both ways so yeah i hope it helped any questions leave them in the comments but as always have fun stay safe and i'll speak to you soon